Hello everybody. So I'm currently living in India and I have been trying out some different Ayurvedic medicines. I have been trying out like different products. I've tried a handful since I've been here. I'll do a video on each of the medicines that I've tried. I'll explain why I use them and whether or not they have worked for me. The first one that I will do a video on, which is this video obviously, is Kalanamak. I recently bought this salt and started using it. I'll explain what Kalanamak is, how it is made, what it consists of, its uses, and what I used it for. So what is Kalanamak? Kalanamak is a type of edible salt that is made in India. It is black or dark purple in color. It has a slight savory taste and a sulfurous pungent or a rotten egg gas smell. The name Kala means black and Namak means salt, hence its common name is black salt or Asian black salt. More recently, they've been marketing it as Himalayan black salt. So how is it made? Kalanamak is made from natural halite or rock salt that is mined from the Indian, Nepal, Pakistan and Bangladesh Himalayan region. The rock salt is harvested in places such as Samba Salt Lake which is India's largest in-lake salt lake located in Samba Lake town in Jaipur of Rajasthan. Traditionally, after harvesting, the colorless rock salt is taken through a reductive chemical process that transforms it from colorless to black or dark purple. The reductive process involves putting the salt in a ceramic jar along with charcoal, Harad seeds, amla, bahida, also known as bibitaki, bubble bark, and hydrated soda ash, also known as natron. The ceramic jar contains all these ingredients and is placed in a kiln or oven or a furnace for around 24 hours. The oven or furnace melts the salt and a reductive chemical reaction occurs that transforms the naturally occurring sodium sulfate into a pungent hydrogen sulfide and sodium sulfide. So after 24 hours, the salt is taken out of the oven and allowed to cool. Upon cooling, black crystals or dark purple dark purple crystals are formed. Usually they are ground to a powder that appears purple and allowed to age before being sold in the market. With improvements in technology and quality standards, newer methods are developed and employed in the production of Kalanamak. Much of these methods involve synthetic production methods other methods include reductive heat treatment of salt in the presence of sodium carbonate, sodium sulfate, and sugar. The quality of the Kalanamak varies based on the manufacturer. So different manufacturers will use different methods of production. They also use different quality of ingredients and the methods used to age the product may also vary. For example, this is an image that I got from saltworkconsultants.com, their website. It shows how Kalanamak is made by the manufacturer of Asian bamboo salt. So essentially the salt is added to the bamboo stem and sealed with clay. The sealed bamboo stem are then packed in 
the metal cage and place in the kiln oven. After cooling and crushing, the result is the purple salt seen here on the side. Kalanamak is still salt, so primarily it consists of sodium chloride, which provides salinity or the saltiness. It also has iron sulfate, which gives the salt its dark color. The acidic sodium bisulfate and sodium bisulfite give Kalanamak its, its savory taste. The pungent smell comes from the hydrogen sulfide even though hydrogen sulfide is considered poisonous the amount in the salt is so small that it is basically harmless so kalanamak is a versatile salt with a wide range of uses it is used as an ingredient when making toothpaste so kalanamak was previously mixed with fluoride and used as toothpaste to prevent tooth decay among school children. It is used as a condiment that adds flavor to food. For example, it is used in making foods and spices such as kalanamak rice, which is a type of naturally scented rice produced in India that is, that is rich in nutrients such as iron, zinc, and vitamin E. We have chat masala, which is a spice mixture of black salt, black pepper, coriander, chili powder, cumin, ginger, mango powder, and asafoetida, which is a type of gum resin. It's also used to make rita, which is a yogurt-based dish made with brinjal, besan bundi, cucumber, curd, onion, gourd, and tomato. It's also used to make different types of chutney. So in traditional medicine or in Ayurveda, Kalanamak is used as a mild laxative. It is used to treat diarrhea. It's used to aid with digestive problems. It relieves flatulence and heartburn. It is used to prevent putrefaction, which is the decaying of organic matter, such as the human body. It is also used to reduce tissue swelling. It is often used by people on a low sodium diet as it contains less salt than table salt. So in the past, Kalanamak was used to reduce swelling in the neck caused by an enlarged thyroid gland, and it was used in the treatment of hysteria. But after the Food and Drug Administration, FDA in the U.S. warned the makers of this product to stop marketing the product using unproven claims. The manufacturer started selling the Kalanamak product as a dietary supplement. How do I use Kalanamak? So in South Africa, I used to use white coarse salt to clean my house. I would also use it when I would bathe. If I had constipation, I would use a bit of coarse salt um, and I would add it to warm water and use it to relieve myself. In India, they have Himalayan rock salt, but I haven't been able to find white coarse salt, so I've been using Kalanamak as a substitute. My apartment only has a shower. I don't have a bath. So I use the salt to soak my feet in saline water especially after i run long distance or i walk for a very long distance i also use it to relieve bloating so every time i have like constipation or flatulence i would uh, add it to warm water and use it to relieve myself kalanamak is often confused with the himalayan black lava salt the two types of salt might look a bit similar, but they are not the same. They do not taste the same and they are not used for the same things. Hawaiian black lava salt is sea salt that is blended with activated charcoal. 
from coconut shells and it is kiln or furnace. So the Hawaiian black lava salt is typically used as a type of gourmet salt that is added to ready to serve dishes. Don't forget you can access this article and many more on the imitiasintu.co.za website. Stay blessed and bye.